Hello, this is Seher from Easy Peasy, and the topic we are going to discuss today is called as biomolecules. In order to understand biomolecules, let's start with our home planet, Earth. Now on this Earth, we have a lot of different things. For example, we have mountains, deserts, forests, even living organisms like fishes animals, and finally, the human being. Now, all these things, whether living or non-living, are made up of elements. Some elements like to stay in the form of gas, like hydrogen. Some elements are stable in the liquid state, like mercury. And some elements like to stay in the solid state, like silicon. So far, scientists discover around 118 elements and more are need to be found. But we are more curious that what type of elements are present inside a human being. And to our curiosity, 97% of our dry weight consists of six different elements only. That consists of oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. These elements are called as major elements. And around 3% of our dry weight consists of the elements like potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium, and others. And these elements are called as trace elements. Now, these elements are present inside a human being or a living organism, so these elements will be called as bioelements. Okay, now two different types of elements can react with each other and form a molecule. So in this case, hydrogen is reacting with oxygen and they are two different elements and they are making water. This water is a molecule. Now the molecules that are present inside a living organism is called as biomolecules. Now inside a human being, we have around 61% of water. 16% of proteins, 16% of fat, 1% of carbohydrates, and 6% of minerals. Now these biomolecules can be of two different categories. One is called as inorganic and one is called as organic. Inorganic consists of water and minerals. Organic consists of macromolecules that consist of carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acid. Now, as we all know that human beings are made up of cells, so the biomolecules present inside the cell are called as cellular pool. Cellular pool can be categorized in two different phases. One is called as aqueous phase and one is called as non-aqueous phase. Aqueous phase can be further divided into colloidal solution or true solution. True solutions are made up of those particles whose size is around one nanometer or less. And colloidal solutions are made up of those particles whose size is approximately more than one nanometer. The particles that is making the colloidal solution is called as colloids, and the particles that are making the true solution is called as crystalloid. Non-aqueous phase consists of those macromolecules that are present on the cell membrane. Now let's discuss these macromolecules in more detail. The first macromolecule that we are going to discuss is called as carbohydrates. As you can see, this is the example of carbohydrates that are present in the living organism. That includes glycogen, starch, and cellulose. Now these carbohydrates are merely the repetitive units of monosaccharide units. When two monosaccharide units are going to link with each other by the bond called as glycosidic linkage, then they are called as disaccharide. Now look closely to the structure of carbohydrates. We can find out the elements that are making these carbohydrates and that includes hydrogen carbon and oxygen. So carbohydrates are only made up of these three elements. The next macromolecule that we are going to discuss is called as nucleic acid. Nucleic acid is usually present inside the nucleus of the cell inside the chromosome. Now if we look closely to the structure of this chromosome, we can find out that they are made up of repetitive units called as nucleotides. Now nucleotide consists of three different parts. That is the phosphate group, the pentose sugar and nitrogenous base. We have four different types of nitrogenous base there. Now look closely the elements that are making the structure of this nucleic acid. That includes hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and 
phosphorus. The next macromolecule is proteins. Now, protein is made up of repetitive units of amino acid. The most common amino acids that we have in our body are 20 different types of amino acids. Some are hydrophobic, some are uncharged hydrophilic, some are acidic, and some are basic. Now, if we look closely at the structure of each amino acid, we can find out that they are made up of elements like hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and sometimes sulfur. Last but not least, lipids. As you can see in this picture, that lipids are merely made up of phospholipids and fatty acid molecules. If we look at the structure of fatty acid molecules and the phospholipid, we can see that they are made up of elements like hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please support our channel on this website. Thank you. Bye-bye.